What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick way to install the Halo LED switchback fog lights on the Toyota Tacoma. Let's get right to it. By the way guys, there is a price drop on these Halo fog lights. You guys can get them right now at a reduced price. So if you couldn't get them before, you're now able to get them. I know a lot of you guys have been ordering these and we are now shipping them out. And to those people who they arrived, I know you guys have been sending me pictures and you guys love them. Got a whole bunch of orders and if you guys want to go and grab them as well, don't miss out. They're on my website now using the link in my description below. Alright, so on this truck you can see the stock fog lights. They're yellow and especially with the LED last fits that we have on this one, it just completely ruins the vibe, wouldn't you think? Alright, so here is the box that you guys will receive when you order them. So let's go ahead and open this. In the box, you guys are going to receive a special gift for those who order it. And then you guys are also going to get a 10% off coupon for those as well who make a purchase. And then in here, you'll also find just a quick brief install with a link to one of my videos. And then the actual fog lights themselves. So these are all plug and play. You plug one in right to the socket of the fog lights and the other one into the fuse that I will be showing you guys in this video. All right, so in the install, I usually like to take off the whole entire grill and the two side panels just to give you easy access and not scratch anything. But there is actually a quicker way to removing these fog lights and getting the new ones in there. And the way that we're gonna be doing that is just by reaching our hands through, trying not to scratch it. But the first thing you guys wanna do is go ahead and use a screwdriver and there's only one bolt actually holding the whole fog light in place and and it's when it's, when it's held in on the passenger side it's going to be on the top farther side and on the driver side it's going to be on the top farther side as well so let's go ahead and take off that screw and once i got it i'm going to go ahead and and once you remove that little screw, go ahead and put it aside. Now you want to just unplug the outlet that goes right in here. So once you unplug it, now go ahead and try wiggling it out. You can take it out from here, this side, just like this. So you may get it scratched, but uh, it should be okay. Not too bad. This one didn't get scratched at all, actually. So now let's go ahead and put the new Halo switchbacks in. All right, so here are the new ones. They're all plug and play, like I said. I'm gonna take off this plastic bag. And I would recommend to leave this on just until you fully install it so it doesn't get scratched. But maybe if you wanna just put it towards the front a little bit. Should be fine like that. On the fog light itself, you will find one plug that goes into the OEM one and you will find another plug that actually is gonna go into the fuse. So this has two lights, one ring around it and one switch back on the inside. So it has two different power sources for each one of those sets. Unplug everything and go ahead and fit it down there the same way you brought the other one up. You may have to maneuver it a little bit. And now we got it all the way down. Now that it's down here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the plastic piece. And this is the way it's gonna go in. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the little brackets in and then screw in the top right screw to bolt it in place. All right, so there's two basically levels to inserting the brackets. This is the further one. And then if you take it out and then bend it again and put it in, this is the closer one. So depending on how you want the fitment, if you want it to pop out a little bit or you want it to be sunken in a little bit, if you put it like this, that all just depends on how you want it. So we're gonna actually just put it on the further one out just to have it sit like this because when you tighten it, it does kind of fit better in place. So now you wanna go ahead and take your screwdriver and just tighten everything in place to make it fit. And now once you do that, you can see the fitment looks a lot better and it's popping out just a little bit, the right amount. So now let's go ahead and plug these in. So now that is all installed and looking dope, now we attach the normal plug into these fog lights. So you do have to reach your hand and mess with it a little bit until you get it. But once you do, it 
it's obviously just plug and play so it goes in right into the original spot so the second plug is going to be the one to your fuse we are also going to go ahead and just plug that one in as well so make sure it's just the right side plugged right in and now let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side so there we go it is now plugged in you want to make everything look nice bring the fuse from under and bring it to right here is mount the negative right onto here which is going to be the ground just go ahead and loosen it with a 10 millimeter you can place it right under and tighten it back And there you go. So now time for this fuse here on the fuse box. After you get this open, flip it over. And the fuse we're going to be taking out is the last 10 amp right there. This one that we're going to be taking off. So all you do, put the clamp on it, pull it up. There's a slot for this right in here. And this all comes with the kit. Just push this in place and now you just put this back in the same spot you took it out of there you go so this person's truck they actually did the same thing they have a siren hooked up to their horn go ahead and close everything up and you may have to pinch the wire a little bit on the edge but it should be fine if it closes and just like that we are all done the fog lights are all plugged in. It took us about maybe 15 minutes and now it is done. There is that nice startup. Just like that. The LEDs are on. They are matched with the last fits. Man, how unique and how nice are these. Switch back one more time for that switch back. LEDs. And now they are yellow. <laughs> These are so dope. There is that startup. Man, these are looking dope. Switch it back one more time. There it is. So let's go ahead and compare these to the stock fog lights. Let's also see them at night. All right, so we are gonna be doing a quick test. We have a stock Tacoma fog light. You guys can see these are the yellow ones. Of course, we have the halo switchbacks on this truck. So let's go ahead and do a test. And I'm gonna show you guys the visual from inside of the truck. I'm turning on the stock fog lights only right now. And now you guys can see the halo LEDs that have light up the whole entire area. So this is a big difference you guys can see. So I'm gonna turn mine off and he's gonna turn his off. And now he's gonna do the switch back to the yellow, which you guys can see. And now he's gonna turn his off mine are on now and it is a lot dimmer and it's like you can't even see anything so let's see the white one more time there it is it lights up the whole entire area all right you guys well like i said you guys can go and grab them using the link in my description below i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next one